Well, we're joined by the central characters from both those games. Yeovil Town player manager Steve Rutter, their hat-trick hero Paul Batty, and Bath's player manager Tony Ricketts. Steve, first of all, um, you're out injured, your crutches are underneath the table there, but you can't have expected to score five away from home, surely? No, that's right. Um, I don't think you ever go into any game expecting to score five, especially away from home against a full-time side like Torquay. But um, we were fair, you know, good value for the win on the day, really. Is it everything you thought it would be, getting this result? Yeah, it was obviously very important to us um, in financial terms as much as anything else, but uh, we had a lot of support that travelled down. It's not that far, so it was a, a local derby for us, and um, we acquitted ourselves very well on the day, which was important. Paul, two penalties, and uh, you changed sides, had a little bit of confidence there. Yes, uh, well, I scored against Crawley a penalty as well in the qualifying round, so I had no doubts about the first, where the first one was going, and then it was just a bit of kidology, the second one, you know. I thought the first one might have just gone close to wide. It looked like it was very close. I saw it from a bad angle, right? It was a great penalty. <laughs> now, you've played around in the Football League. What is the difference? What was the difference in standards or attitude today? Um, I think since the draw was made, um, we've been really looking forward to the game. We always fancied our chances at Torquay, as we do any sort of uh, new third division club now. You know, we're playing really well at the moment. How do you see the standards between league clubs and non-league clubs? You've got a great result. Yeah, it's a very good result for us, but um, I think the standards are getting closer. Obviously, the financial uh, situation with third and fourth division clubs as they were, now second and third division clubs, means that they can't carry such big squads. Um, and people are more prepared to drop into semi-professional football, get themselves a decent job and uh, you know, pick up some money on the side by playing. How often would you train, Paul, to get the standard and to be able to play like you can play at the moment? Um, we train on a Tuesday and Thursday, um, games permitting. Uh, mainly on a Tuesday we do leg work, get fit, and then on the Thursday we do some coaching with the ball. Are you fitter as a non-league player than you were as a league player? I know you've played 250 games in the Football League. I'm, I'm still very fit, yeah. I look after myself. I'm very interested to see your manager smiling though when you said that one. Well, he's a fit lad as well, but not at the moment. <laughs> right, Tony Ricketts, let's move over to Bath. Um, I have to say, the great result for you as well. Did you expect it? We went into the game with a lot of confidence, uh, but obviously, you know, to go to somewhere like Cardiff and beaten it home all season and win 3-2, it's a, it's a great result for the football club. When did you realise your players were up for this? Did you get a little buzz in the dressing room beforehand? They've been up for it since the draw. Um, you know, the, the club has been buzzing. We've made a new sign-in as well, which has lifted everybody within the club. And the lads scored now four goals in, in three games, Dion Vernon. Who's that? Who scored those goals? Dion Vernon. Uh, the young lad we signed from Bristol City, uh, electrifying pace, electrifying. And he, in all fairness, for a lad 19 years of age, he's, he's lifted the whole club. Now, you, obviously, you're always looking around to see where the next uh, few pounds are coming from, I would imagine, at your club. Yeah, we're on a sort of tight schedule, as they say. Um, you know, it's a, it's, hopefully the draw will be kind to us on Monday. Now, Steve, Non-league seems to me like a big family because I know a few of you played against each other and uh, you're playing against each other. Yeovil played Bath in a, in a league cup on Tuesday night, I think, is it? That's right, yeah. Um, uh, Drinkwise Cup replay, which is our league cup. Uh, the first game certainly wasn't a classic, but I'm sure you know Bath is our local derby league-wise as well. So uh, with both of us getting good results today, I should think there'll be a smashing atmosphere Tuesday night and a big crowd. Do you think your team will be up for this, Tony? Yeah, I'll, I'll have to lift them up a little bit, uh, but uh, obviously being a local derby and, and, and playing against Steve and the rest of his Yeovil colleagues who I used to play for, um, you know, it'll be a great game and uh, be no problems with attitude or commitment. Well, congratulations to all of you. At least you know where the penalties are going. <laughs> Although you did put one either side, where will That's it right. go next week? Uh, I haven't decided yet, Ray. You keep them guessing. You've got to win one first. Gentlemen, many congratulations. Hope the draw is very kind to you. And who knows, you might draw each other.